In this video, we are going to discuss power spectral density. So let us first start with a recap of what is a power signal. So the power signal. So this is a signal which is having an infinite duration. Moreover, it can be periodic. and or some statistics may be reoccurring and lastly we can say that the average value should be bounded so with these three conditions so given that we have a signal g of t so if we are to find the power of this signal, so we will take a limit and say t tends to infinity 1 by t minus t by 2 to t by 2 g of t whole square dt. So this will define the power of a given signal. Now this has to be finite as mentioned in the third condition for it to be considered a power signal. Now this mathematical formulation of power is only valid for deterministic signals and not random signals. So hence we have to classify signals in terms of deterministic and random signals to understand the power spectral density. Now let us link this with uh, a given signal g of t and we say that this g of t is a deterministic signal. And let us assume that it is simply a square wave, periodic square wave. So we have G of T now for this deterministic signal we can find the Fourier series coefficients. So at n equal to zero we have DC value, we have omega naught. 2 omega naught and so on. The spectrum is simply a stem plot of a sync function. So we may have a sync function so this is C0, C1 and so on. This analysis in the frequency domain is only available for deterministic signals. But what if this signal G of T is a random signal? For example, a digital signal. And this consists of bits which are having value 1 and 0. So at one instant, we may have a frame which is 1, 0, 1, 1. But at the second instant, we have another frame which is say 0, 1, 1, 0. And it keeps on changing. So since this is now a random signal, we do not have a time domain function. So that is, we cannot express G of T analytically. So therefore, this G of T cannot have a Fourier analysis that is Fourier series or Fourier transform. So we cannot find a spectrum. So that is for a random signal. Taking the Fourier series or Fourier transform directly, uh, that is not going to solve our problem. That that is, we are interested in a spectrum of a given signal, so we would not be able to solve that. But fortunately for the random signal, we can find its autocorrelation function. That is ACF. Correlation as the name suggests is simply the similarity of a given signal that is G of T with a delayed or advanced version of itself. And then we take the Fourier transform of this autocorrelation function uh, which yields power spectral density. 
that is the PSD of a random signal. So again consider the example that we have a transmitter and a receiver. So if we are sending a deterministic signal. So this means that minimal or no information is transferred. But on the other hand, if we are sending a random signal, so basically we are transmitting more information. So we can summarize this and say that the amount of information is directly proportional with the uncertainty of data. So more uncertain the data is, the more information that a given system is capable of transmitting. So therefore autocorrelation function and power spectral density are of fundamental importance in communication systems. Now this autocorrelation function primarily it's a time autocorrelation function. That is we define it as or g of tau and this is simply the time average that is we take a limit and we say t tends to infinity 1 by t minus t by 2 to t by 2 g of t and then a delayed version of this g of t minus tau dt so this whole thing would yield up an expression which is in terms of tau so we are having the time average of the signal which is multiplied with a delayed version of the signal and then we are finding the area so this is the all important expression of a time autocorrelation function of a random signal where we are considering g of t to be random now if we take the fourier transform of this expression we have from here we have s g of f which is nothing but the power spectral density so that is we can find the power of a signal that is pg which is simply minus infinity to infinity s g of f df and we have already mentioned that we can also find the power of a signal in time domain by this expression as well but for this expression we needed a deterministic signal and right now we have a random signal but still we are able to find the power and the amount of power which is available in a given spectrum so that is if we have a spectrum if we plot a spectrum so we can find the amount of power which is available from frequency f1 to f2 by means of this psd power spectral density so again if g of t belongs to real numbers or real signals so in that case this power spectral density that is s g of f this is an even function and hence it is equal to s g of minus f and moreover the autocorrelation function that is or g of tau this is also an even function So the amount of shift towards right or towards left doesn't matter if the signal is real and we can simplify the autocorrelation function and for real g of t we can have p of g which is simply 0 to infinity s g of f df times 2 so let us move towards one example of a random signal, random digital signal to understand the concept of power spectral density in, in an application scenario.